Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and I recorded a session that I was doing for Hardware Bot, just playing around, uh, and I just wanted to the, is, distill this main point to you, and, and it should be common knowledge by now, but it may not be, is to just update your UEFI or your BIOS. Make sure you keep those things updated, because you could be leaving additional performance on the table. Um, here we have a Oris motherboard, a B650 motherboard, uh, with a Ryzen 7950X, uh, RTX 3080 from EVGA, and we're running the old BIOS 5.7. This BIOS came out, I think, in June or July of 2023. And here, at time of recording, uh, we're almost getting close. We're getting closer to a year. It hasn't been a year, but we're getting closer to a year. And I wanted to keep everything the same and test out its performance and stuff like that. Now, uh, right now, we're looking at the single core performance. It's 117. Uh, before we did the BIOS update, and then the multi-core was 190. I went ahead and looked at what other revisions there were. Uh, of course, this is for the B650 Oris Elite AX revision 1.0, 1.1. There is a revision 1.2. So this, this while this doesn't apply to every motherboard, it applies in general logic. Update your UEFI, update your BIOS. You could get additional improvements like system compatibility, um, stability as well, performance, and then obviously support other CPUs of that particular family. But uh, 521 is the latest. So we're jumping from 5.7 to 5.21, skipping these two. Usually you want to update one after the other. And the catch 22 is if a new BIOS or a new update comes out, usually you don't want to be the first in the door because you're going to be the first one to experience bugs, issues, instability, so on and so forth. But just updating the BIOS uh, did actually improve our performance on this particular device. And I want to show you some of those numbers. I also did the GPU benchmark. Um, and before we updated the BIOS, we were at 13,800. Not much to glean from that. I left the GPU stock. It was auto boosting on its own. Um, you know, usually you want to lock clocks and stuff like that, but I'm not really too concerned about the GPU, but we did see an improvement on the GPU overall. I tested a number of variables like, or, or programs, uh, like CPU profile on, um, 3d mark. And we did see increase in performance. Uh, I believe I tested speedway and a number of others as well. Uh, and you know, before we actually updated the BIOS, we were getting 4674. But then um, I also got Time Spy, where we were getting a overall score of 33.86, CPU score of 12.324, right? And then not only are we seeing a performance increase, but the UI changed as well, and I like it. I like the new UI, right? Uh, now, Gigabyte has disappointed us in a number of other arenas um but i do particularly like their motherboards I like asrock i like asus if they weren't so overpriced but this ui is the original ui even though this is showing for the z490 this is the exact same ui or uefi that i had before however once we update it here's the new look and i honestly like it obviously same menu same nomenclature um same overclocking steps yada 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 but a nice new look and i personally enjoyed it and then when we went back to cinebench we actually got to see some of the performance metrics or data. And for example, on the multi-core, we jumped from 1990 to 2027. Not much within variants, um, but the the single core didn't do much either. Uh, only jumping up one point, but the GPU jumped up almost basically 200 points because uh, we were at four, almost 14,000 when we were at 13,800. But single core only went from 117 to 118. Nothing to write home about. And then on the CPU profile, we jumped up on pretty much everything except for the uh, the 16 core version, right? See, so this, this is some of my old benchmarks. Don't pay attention to that. But on the single core, ver uh, the 16 thread number did not jump up as high as I would have preferred. Um, testing time spy. We were able to jump up to 9,401 and a CPU score of 12,452. Whereas previously, uh, I believe we were at, yeah, 9,386 and 12,324. Uh, so considerable jump. And, and, and we're talking, when I say considerable, we're talking minuscule in, in reference, right? So for example, on CPU profile, 
we jumped anywhere between 0.2% to almost 1.4% on the CPU or on the threads, depending on. Obviously, the, the 16 thread workload dropped down 0.1%. On Speedway, we jumped up 0.2%, so not much there, but that it is a few FPS more. And then on Time Spy Extreme, we jumped anywhere between 1% to 0.1%. So really nothing to write home about. You're, you're not going to be like getting the craziest amount of FPS, but the, the stability, the uh, compatibility, and the minor increase in performance could help you out. So if you're experiencing issues or maybe your system isn't as stable or a particular overclock uh, seems to run a little bit wonky, Consider updating your EA5. When was the last time you checked out your, your motherboard's page? I haven't checked it in almost a year. I found it and I was missing 0.2% to 1% depending on what workload I was working on in performance. So that's the point of this video. I hope you got some useful information out of it. I just want to share this experience with you. That's what this channel is really about. Taking you along with the journey. Uh, come compete on Hardware Bot. Come play around. Uh, participate, submit your benchmarks, whether you have exotic cooling, LN2 or not. It's all good. Air cooling, water cooling, AIO, get in there and join us. But that's going to do it for today's video. Do me a favor on the way out. Uh, hit the like button. Uh, make sure to get subscribed and hit notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out any links uh, down in the description and my host support the channel. I don't think I'm going to put anything down there in reference to today's video, but uh, other links will be there if uh, you indeed do want to support the channel. Besides that, I'll catch you later.